Hey everybody, it's Michael Season Arrows Frontier. It's April 13th, 2024. We are out here at the bee yard. So uh, we're going to be checking in on our hives, seeing what they're doing. See if uh, they got drones that are coming in and maybe uh, do a couple of splits. We'll see about that and then uh, get them geared up. So this is a couple of strong hives that we got over here um, that you can see here. And we got some uh, decent activity coming into the hives and uh, we're going to look in on them, see what they're doing. So stay tuned. Alright, so from the looks of the activity, I've not gotten into this hive, but I believe it's going to be my strongest hive. So we're going to get in here. While we were building our house, um, I did have three boxes on here and they had uh, brood in every box so i did not have time to find the queen over the uh, winter so they overwintered with three boxes and uh now you can see there's some ants on here but uh they obviously got three boxes that uh three box eight frame We're going to see what they look like. And they are all the way up at the top, so I'm wondering if they're going to be in the, all the boxes. Oh yeah. I got a couple of uh, Strong looking hive. So this queen, they superseded her from last year. And uh, I came back in. Uh, they swarmed out from the original queen. Then they were making queen cups and came back, found some eggs. And then uh, came back a couple weeks later, they made some more queen cups. And I guess either they killed off that queen or made a new queen. So not sure exactly what was going on with it, but I just kind of left them be and uh, came back a couple weeks later, saw some more eggs. But uh, the population was doing good, so I never could find the queen in her. See there? Make a new comb on there. It's looking good. And I am seeing... Got a couple of drones here. And... Fresh eggs. Fresh eggs right in there. If you can see those. So there's a good fresh eggs right here that's good they're busy busy so there's several drones that I'm seeing so that's a good sign I'm gonna put these back in here keep the eggs we've got a little bit of a breeze so but uh kind of curious to see if uh, if we find the queen I can move her down below. Wow, look at that pattern. And that side too. And a lot of drones. Okay, we're doing good. And I already got a queen cup down here. Looks dry.
Yeah, we're looking good. A lot of drones, so you can tell the drones, you can see right here, the butt is rounded at the bottom. Try to see if I can zoom in here. So see how the butt right here is rounded at the bottom? And let's see if I can find the queen. I'll show you her. But yeah, a lot of lot of signs of drones. They're making queen cups all over the place here. I'm seeing some queen cups on this next one. Yeah. And there's some drone brood. That's a lot of drone brood there. You see how they stick out? Looking for the queen. So we ripped out that drone right there. You can see that. And we're looking on there to see if we see any mites, which don't see any mites on that one. But they'll clean that up. But yeah, this one, uh, they're probably gonna be looking to swarm here if I don't get them under control here. <laughs> so. Might add another box to here. So these are going to be your good honey producers. As long as you can keep the queen in check. That's the whole thing. I mean, it's just like you want good population, but at the same time, if they don't have anywhere to put the honey at, they get honey bound. Look at all that population there. Just kind of briefly going through, kind of seeing if I can find the queen. So this is some wonky comb right here. Some drone comb and they have this crossed over. I'm gonna pull that off there. There's some queen cups. So I like to have a little bit of, uh, oh, there's the queen right there. There's the queen. We found the queen right there. See her on there? Right there. So see how her abdomen is a lot bigger there? Past her, uh... Let me give, see if I can get a picture of her because this is the first time I've seen her. I've laid eyes on this queen. She looks really good. You can see these coming off the side. See these coming off the side. That's how you know they're uh, they're going out sideways. Those are drone. And these right here um, are queen cells. Well, if they had an egg in them, they're dry. So let me see here. Trying to make sure I don't smash her. The other bees you can smash, you don't want to, but sometimes it happens. There she is, right up here. She's hanging out down there at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna try to put her back in here. Easy does it. All right, so we found the queen on that one. But technically right now what I can do, I can move this box down below. She can have it or I'll probably wait another a little bit more and then uh, start uh, 
Actually, I think I'll probably do that now. Because I can go ahead and add on my super or another box or whatever. And then all these other, once the once she's down below, they'll start filling up or they'll start uh, making room for her to lay eggs down there. And then all these other boxes up here will hatch out. And then when she doesn't, uh, she's not able to lay in there, they'll start make, putting the honey up there. That's a single brood chamber method. Okay, so. I'm just gonna see if she's still on this frame. Yep, she's still on there. All right, so we know she's in that box. So now I'm going to these other boxes right here. And then uh, if there's eggs in here, those eggs will hatch out, but then they will uh, start to fill them with honey. And I could probably even take some of these and pull out and put in some uh, other frames of uh, drawn comb. And I can start to make a split with these. So, all right, so we uh, managed to uh, make a split. We're going to come back in a week and see uh, what kind of queen cells we got here. So, anyways, got a couple of bees buzzing around me. We got to get into the rest of the hives, but uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, make each day count, and God bless.